<laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to 31 1990s horror movies for Halloween, where I'm counting down my favorite horror movies from the 1990s. Uh, so, yep, we're at number 30, of course. I mean, hey, we did 31. We might as well do 30 now. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a heads up. As this video goes along, you're going to see me getting more and more loopy because I'm sitting here filming this all in one take. <laughs> but anyway, so at number 30, we have a French body horror movie, which is a fantastic, gory, fun movie that more people need to see, and that is Baby Blood. I rented this movie from the rental store on VHS so many years ago, back when it was under the title of The Evil Within. I had no idea what it was. I didn't even know it was a French horror movie. I just read the plot. It looked interesting. I brought it home, and holy crap, it was a French horror movie. But the version I saw was dubbed in English. I eventually was able to see the original French language with subtitles. And I think both versions work very well. This was actually my first French horror movie. Um, you know, French Extreme became big in uh, the 2000s, uh, but this was my first uh, French horror movie, and what a way to start, because this is a very unique little horror movie. I would definitely call it a body horror movie, but yeah, it's very, very well done, very different. The movie opens at the beginning of the world, and uh, it's being narrated by this being uh, that has, that existed since the world was young. Um, and he's existed for centuries. Um, he's like this weird little parasite thing, and the only thing he needs is to be born. So you flash forward to the present day 90s <laughs> uh, in France, uh, and you have this circus and this carnival place, and you have this young woman who uh, is in an abusive relationship, um, and she's part of the circus, and one night this parasite crawls into her bed, crawls up her hoo-ha, <laughs> crawls up her vagina, we're adults here, it crawls up her vagina and impregnates her. She is now pregnant with this parasite so that it can develop into whatever creature it's supposed to. And when she realizes she's pregnant, she runs away from the circus, but her abusive boyfriend hunts her down. When he finds her, she kills him, and that's when we learn that this parasite, her baby inside her, needs blood in order to survive. So she has to kill men and drink blood in order to nourish her baby. And if this parasite inside her doesn't get blood, it will continue to hurt her. Go on. Slit his throat. Take the knife. Take the knife. The best thing about this movie is that this unborn fetus parasite thing talks to her. She can hear it speaking to her, and she can speak to it. So they're constantly having conversations with each other. But you have this very interesting dynamic in this movie. You have this woman that's essentially being abused by her unborn baby. Because you have to remember, this, this thing inside her, it's not human. It's something that has existed since the world began, when life was first created and started crawling out of the primordial ooze. So this is something that has lived for millions of years. The only thing it needs is to be born, so it went inside Bianca, and now she has to deal with this thing inside her that needs to drink human blood. There's only one thing I want for you, and that's to die! Do you hear me? Die! And I'm going to kill you! Go ahead. You wouldn't dare. You're nothing but a coward. Fat and a coward. And in a way, it's a woman being held hostage by her fetus, by the baby growing inside of her. Bianca doesn't want to kill. I mean, when she first finds out she's pregnant, she runs away from the circus because she's trying to protect her child from her abusive boyfriend. Because at that time, she doesn't know that she has a parasite growing inside her. She just thinks she's pregnant. 
But again, eventually the thing does start talking to her and she realizes, oh, this is not a normal baby. Stop moving. Why? It feels bizarre. Bizarre? How? How does it matter to you? Tell me. And it's a, an interesting and frightening thought because when it comes to pregnancy, so many things can go wrong during pregnancy. This is like the ultimate thing that can go wrong during a pregnancy. Finding out that you're giving birth to a monster. <laughs> I mean, this is a mild spoiler, but it has to be said because of course it's going to go this way. We do ev The thing is eventually born and we eventually see what it is, but for the most of the movie, it's inside Bianca's stomach. And so the movie does a good job at making this unborn fetus feel like an actual character in the movie. And there's some interesting conversations between Bianca and this unborn fetus, because, yeah, it is technically a part of her, it is technically her baby, so she both cares for it because it's all she really has in her life, but also hates it because of what it is. It's a monster that needs to drink human blood, and she has to kill people to nourish it. Push your seat back. Push back your seat. It's uncomfortable. You get on my nerves. You realize I could be born deformed? No. There is some dark humor in this movie, and it mixes very well with the story, but um, for the most part, it is just a well-done, gory little body horror movie. Uh, very well done, and, and again, not enough people have seen it. You know, when it comes to French horror movies, people always talk about inside, martyrs, uh, high tension. You don't hear enough people talking about baby blood, and I, I would highly recommend this one. If you like body horror, if you like French horror movies, if you like pregnancy-based horror movies, because there are plenty of them out there, I would highly recommend Baby Blood. It's, it's a very unique body horror movie. You could also call it a very unique vampire movie, because this woman does have to drink blood. Uh, so yes, Baby Blood, one of my first French horror movies, a fantastic body horror movie. Um, if you have a pregnant friend and you want to bother them, maybe don't show them this movie. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, but yes, in all seriousness, Baby Blood. Uh, for Halloween, I would highly recommend it. It's something different for this time of year, and I, I think you will have a good time with it.